Hello beautifuls, this is Avrami here, and welcome back to Cinderella Phenomenon. And I was correct that one girl is actually a guy, because I actually went on their Kickstarter to look at the characters I'm missing. I'm only missing one more guy, so the demo should be almost done right now. A palace maid cannot be clumsy, why should I tolerate poor performance? What did I do that was so wrong? I know that Anise, hardworking and big-hearted, very good with medicine. Shame she lost her job so quickly. You know how hard the crown princess is to please. My friend at the palace says she doesn't even smile, only goes around with that cold look on her face. That's probably why they call her the Ice Princess. Ice Princess? So all those times I heard the servant saying that. I'd always suspected they were talking about me. She's the complete opposite of our Princess Emmy. That child's an angel. We all know she would. She should be crowned princess. Annoyance begins to simmer inside me. I cannot stand hearing anymore, so I walk away. Ever since Emmy has entered my life, I'm always being compared to her. And now I have become second best. I am Michiko, really a Brit daughter of King Gennaro Britain III and the crown princess of the kingdom Angeline. I am of royal blood. She is... she is nothing. There you are! Princess, you must come back with me. It is getting too late for you to rain outside. Princess? Are you alright? Are you hurt? I don't want to cry for this girl. It's so sad. I brush him off and turn away. No need to fuss. Let's return to the palace. It's so sad. Oh. Leaving the palace was physically and mentally draining. My bed is welcoming to my unusually heavy body. I turn my head and meet Dolores glassy gaze from where she sits on my shelf. I left the palace today, Dolora. It was the same as all those years ago. Everyone looked at me like I was... What have I ever done to deserve those looks? How can I be so hated? I want to cry for her. Ice princess. I wish mother was here. I look at the smiling faces of my dolls. At least I still have all of you. Hello? 10 o'clock? <laughs> I yawn and stretch my arms. Good night, Delora. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Singing? But who? Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. I blink, oh my god, see, this is why I don't like dolls. I blink my eyes open, only see Dolores sitting right in front of me on my bed. Moonlight spills across her delicate features. How I wonder what you are. Wasn't she on the shelf with all the other dolls when I went to bed? Did... Laura? It's almost time. I pinch my cheeks to make sure I'm not dreaming. It hurts. Only ten minutes before the clock strikes twelve. Oh jeez, hello? I hope you I hope you're ready, princess. What? My doll just turned into a human. How? Who are you? You know who I am. I've been watching you since the day your father gave me to you. What is happening? I don't think I've ever been so confused in my life. All the answers will come with time, but right now I'm here to give you something, princess. Glass slipper. Is this Cinderella's very own glass slipper. It is beautiful, too beautiful, then a realization begins to dawn upon me. You're a witch! Smart girl. I need to figure that out eventually. Told you guys. <laughs> now it's time to say goodbye to your precious crown. What? She's making us be Cinderella. The two stepsisters in Cinderella, except it's like a sister and a brother, and then we're the main. Sweet dreams. Cinderella. That was it. We do hey, wake up, girl. I was gonna say, that was it. Wh where am I? Out of my head. You have some nerve sleeping in front of my shop. Leave before a customer sees you. I was in my room. How am I here? Did you not hear what I said, you filthy child? Filthy? You would speak to your crown princess in such a manner? If you're the crown princess, then I'm the queen. 
You must have been knocked on the head quite hard to have such a grand illusion. I'm not delusional. I am Michiko Riel of Britain, blood daughter of the King Gennaro of Britain III, and the Crown Princess of Angeline. Right, the king never had a daughter with that witch. Is she referring to mother? Oh, is mother a witch? Don't pretend to be stupid, girl. I can only stare at her puzzled. Our good king only has stepchildren, Princess Emmy and Prince Rod, and you are most definitely neither of them. What? Now get gone before you go spouting crazy gibberish at my customers and scare them away. The how she leads me to my own rapidly turning thoughts. I quickly realize that I am wearing tattered clothes and that I do not even have shoes on. That's a horrible dream. Like, I always have a dream where I don't have shoes on for some reason. And it freaks me out because I'm scared it's real life. No, 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 this cannot be happening. Something shines against my chest and I reach up to grab it. This is... It all floods back. Delora being a witch. Cinderella's glass slipper. This is not a dream. Delora gave me the fairy tale curse. My hands began to tremble. I must return to the palace and talk to the king. Would he remember us? Let me in! Sorry, girl, but this place is off limits to uninvited guests. You do not understand. I am Crown Princess Michiko Riel of Britain. I must speak with my father. As loath as I am to call him that, I have to. No one will believe me if I am addressing him by title. You best leave now, nice and quiet, before I have to force you. If you would only make way for the king. The gates swing open and the three horses trot out. Soldiers ride two of the horses while the last horse has a different familiar rider. Oh, it's a father. Oh wait, okay, never mind. I immediately move back to move to block the path of his horse. The soldiers need to hold me back. Your Majesty. What is this? Your Majesty, this girl is claiming to be your daughter. Daughter? Both of my stepchildren are in the palace right now. What? Even father is a part of this? Father, you must help me. A witch has cursed me. For once in your life, just once, help me. You must believe me. Tell me, where is your family child? Why are you all alone? He looks at me with pity in his eyes. He is looking at me more kindly as a peasant than he had ever did when I was the crown princess and his daughter. I recoil. You must be hungry. Take this. What is that? Money? This should feed you and your family for a day or two. The kingdom offers work opportunities to those who need them. Please let your parents know. I do not want your pity, father. Please escort this girl back to her home. Her, her home. Make sure she gets there safely. At once, your majesty. I watched my father and his two guards ride right away on their horses, leaving me to stand in, the, the, in their dust. Again, he left me alone. Again. Where is your home, girl? There is nowhere left for me to go. Father has forgotten me. Leave me. Now look here. Our orders were to leave. Me I alone. Leave me alone. I don't have home. Suit yourself. Can't say we didn't try. Don't cause any more scenes, little girl. I watch with bleary eyes as soldiers return to the palace. How can this happen? How can this be happening? I stare at this small pouch in my hands. I don't know what hurts more. The fact that I have just been unceremoniously unser paraded away from my home like I, had no I am nothing more than a piece of garbage, or the fact that my own father does not recognize me. Oh, look at look at that girl's hideous dress. How difficult it is to be poor. I clutch a pouch close to my chest as I run to an empty alley. I huddle in a corner trying to become as small as possible. I squeeze my eyes shut, hoping that when I next open them, everything will be back to normal. But it won't. A dream? Recall the memories or wake up? Wow, we actually get choices? Recall the memories, why not? No matter what happens, you must not leave the palace. Why? The world is cruel. People will only hurt ever- People will only ever hurt you. But they're always so nice to me. That is only because you're the crown princess. They will only ever think of that, of what they can take from you. I'm trying to protect you, my love. That is why you must never leave the palace. 
Never leave mother. I am the only one who will ever love you as love you so much. Do you ever under do you understand? I cannot read for some reason. I understand. The the what? I kinda read that correctly. How long is this demo? It's been so long. <laughs> when I open my eyes, I'm still on the streets. I must have fallen asleep. But the nightmare continues. I'm cold in my rags. I hold myself for warmth, willing, willing some of the cold away, but fail. My feet are numb and in pain, caked in dirt that I have gathered from walking barefoot around town. Well, there's a frightful sight. Beggar probably thought she could try her luck with the nobility that lived around here. <sighs> Just look at how rugged she looks. What are you looking at? At two women that lack the basic manners of a noble upbringing? Silence, girl. Do you know who you're talking to? No, and I do not care. What nerve. Let's just go. There's no reason to stoop to a commerce level. I'll remember you, and once I break this curse, I will make you regret your words. I become acutely aware of the fact that I haven't eaten anything for more than a day. I've just been sitting here, thinking on the new mess that is my life. But moving around won't break the curse, crying won't help either. I should find that witch first, but how? I have no idea where she is. Delora, I swear I'll make you regret doing this to me. When I find you, I'll... I'll find food first. That delicious food. Is this all the king thinks I'm worth? Leave, girl. A dirty peasant like you have no place in this restaurant. But why? I can pay. Find another place. You're scaring away my customers. Am I not a customer? Shoot, there is nothing for you here. You just swat me away like a fly. The nerve. So I think that this will get me nowhere. I ball my hands two fists and walk away. I get the same treatment at the next three restaurants I try. I am treated as something less than dirt, like my money has no real value. I am the crown princess. I have no right to turn me away like this. I have been eating stale bread and even keep the hunger at bay. The bread barely helps. Out of the corner of my eye, I notice a small bakery. There are croissants on display that make my mouth water. Slowly, I begin to make my way over there. Ow. My feet ache with every step. They look and feel even worse than before. If only I had enough coins for a pair of shoes. But food is more important. If the rags that I'm wearing and the pouch of money are all I have left, then I need to prior pri prioritize. And I will dive before I beg. Two croissants. You will need to pay, girl. There are no free handouts here. I took a coin from a pouch and handed it to her. This should be more than enough. The shop owner stares at the coin before reluctantly taking it. She hands me two croissants and a paper bag. I will not ask where you got those coins. Are you implying that I stole them? How else would a beggar let you get that amount of coin? Now be off with you, child. I won't have you scaring away any other customers. Without another word, I turn and start to walk away from the woman. So this is the goodness of the people of Angeline. I take a bite out of one of the croissants, cringing a little at the dryness. Hey girl, what now? We saw you at the shop. Wanna share how you got your coins there? Excuse me. Look, look at her brushing us off as if she's brushing us off like she's royalty or something. Let me go! You ain't no better than us. Now be a good girl and hand over, hand over that pouch. The man on my left grabs my pouch and attempts to yank it away from me. I will not let these brutes take anything from me. I elbow the man in the stomach, then aim a kick in the other man's shin. I have an opening and I take it. I pull myself free and begin to run as fast as I can. Hey! Where do I go? I'm not familiar with the streets at all. It's highly likely that... Highly likely I'm just going to hit a dead end. Uh... Go right. Why not? Hey, this way. Oh, it's Watts. Hi. You're no time to talk, princess. How do you know who I am? There's another one. Stop running, you two. Come on. The boy grabs my wrist and pulls me after him. Oh. He takes off with a sudden burst of speed, and then I'm running even faster than I just was. I'm not, I'm not entirely convinced following him is a good idea, but at least the boy seems to have a better sense of direction than me. Oh. I running causes rocks in the pathway to come loose, and before I notice them in my path, I step down hard on them. A sharp pain shoots up to my foot, and I collapse to the ground. It hurts. Princess! 
I try to stand, but the pain in my feet is unbearable. I fall back down into the dirt with a gasp. I can't. I've got you now. Just hand over your coins and neither of you will get hurt. I seriously thought this demo was over. Oh, over. Over. But apparently not. So, we, we got more to be looking at. Because we're still missing this one guy. And I don't know where the hell he is. I honestly don't. Maybe if I went left, I would see him. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Stay beautiful, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.